welcome to my class. For this video, I am going to talk about the basic tools we use for rigging and also why is it important to rig our items. So yes, I am going to use Maya 2022 and also I am going to show you some samples for you to understand why rigging is important. I am also filming this live so I am very sorry for my grammatical errors and stutters. So without further ado, let's get star meow! So as you can see, there are two um, videos right here and I am going to show you the difference between a rigged item and the not rigged one. Now let's play this one and as you can see, this part, look at this part, it moves smoothly and follows the leg movements really well and it is close to how a real item, I mean a real clothing would do in the real world. So there are no irregular movements, it's very smooth and it's very nice looking, right? Professional looking. Now let us look at this unrigged item. This is one of my old items. So let's play it. As you can see, there is a sharp end here while the legs are moving. There is a sharp end here and when you look at the back, it's really broken. Like, where can you see a real world item move like that, right? So this one is an unrigged version. I mean, an unrigged dress. It moves irregularly and there is no way that that looks beautiful at all. <laughs> so yes, with these two examples, of course, everyone's gonna pick this one, right? Because it's properly rigged, it's soft, and it conveys the dress even better. It gives you this um, wow effect, and it is closer to a real one. So yes, you'll need to rig your items for you to produce that, produce this kind of dress, okay? Okay, now let's exit this too, and let me now talk about uh, the rigging tools that we are going to use for this week. Now, for the rigging, all you need to do is click F3 or just select rigging from this one, from this tab. Now, for this week, we are only going to use the main tools to rig and not anything else. I want you to focus on creating better items with the minimal uh, tools, okay? So, the first thing we are going to use is this tab, the skin tab, the bind skin, and also the paint skin weights, also the copy skin weights. Those are the three tools for the skin that we are going to use. And if you look on my settings on the bind skin options, I am going to use a joint hierarchy, but there are times that we are going to use the selected joints. Now, by method closes, classic linear, don't forget to add 4 for your max influences. And don't forget to check this maintain max influences. However, there are items that should, I mean, that uses this one, this, uh, this selection, remove unused influences. But for dresses and clothing, all you need to do is maintain a max influence, okay? Now, for the paint skin weights wait for it to load all right uh there are two main things we are going to use the replace and the smooth also opacity and value the value zero is black and the value one is white if i'm not mistaken and we're going to use flood two and i am going to explain it when we are on the rigging part okay i mean when we are already rigging a dress on or an item so yes, the next one is copy copy skin weights. There are actually no uh, specification for this one, but I guess you'll have to click name for this, then closest point to the surface, and that's it. That's the three main things we are going to use for the skin, and for the skeleton we are going to use the create joints and just that. Um, it is much more complicated when it comes to the items, I mean some items, but I'm going to try my best and teach you as easier as possible, okay? So yes, that's all about this video. This is an over overview on how to rig, I mean how, what tools would you use to 
the rig and item and also I am very sorry for the background noise by the way it's raining and yes after this video please proceed to the next ones because I'm going to upload in a few hours or minutes it depends on Meow Meow's schedule so yes as always thank you so much for watching and bye bye